Hello everybody, Jason Manili here with Team Manili once again. I'm here to give you my reflections on the summer of 2020, COVID-19 and how it has uh, affected the real estate market. All right, I hope I'm reaching everybody here with a happy and healthy summer 2020. Uh, we all know that COVID-19 has been a crazy couple of months and uh, has really impacted our Prescott real estate market as well. Um, as I've discussed in the past, our inventory has been very, very low for the last several years, actually. And uh, this COVID has brought in more and more buyers for, to Prescott from uh, cities. Really is really what we're seeing is people are coming from the cities, trying to get into the smaller town. And so we have had uh, lots and lots of buyers. And so what does that mean for you guys? Um, I'm not going to go into the stats, all the numbers, those kind of things, but just know that we are in a serious seller's market. And sellers have the advantage and really anything under about six or seven hundred thousand dollars. And that's the first time I've said that in a long time. Typically it's been under that 400,000 range or so, but uh, we've had enough buyers coming in and they're pushing their budgets, the low, low, ridiculously low interest rates. Um, I've seen uh, downwards of two and a half percent to refi and get a loan right now. So that's uh, increasing people's buying power as well. And so that, that buyer's market has stretched up into that uh, five, six, almost $700,000 range right now. And so if you're a buyer, you need to make sure that you are coming strong with everything you are doing. Um, I always say that anything above uh, 10% of a purchase price, so if you're $100,000 asking price and anything 90,000 and below would be a low ball offer. Now I'm saying somewhere four to five percent low. Um, and I would never come in and blow four or five percent of the asking price right now. Uh, that would be considered a low ball offer. And uh, even if you're not coming in sometimes in those lower categories, sub 400 at full price or above, you're not even going to be considered. Uh, there's no nickel and diming, those kind of things right now. And so you need to make sure, number one, that you are really well pre-qualified that you have gone to a bank, a lender, a qualified lender, and have given them all your information and so you are ready to go and that you are submitting good offers. Um, as for a seller, you guys are in great position right now. There are not a lot of houses on the market, so if you are going to put your house on the market, you will probably have pretty immediate attention on your home. Um, if not immediate offers. Um, the last house we listed, um, we got uh, multiple offers and within a couple of days. So we're really seeing that on a personal level. Anecdotally, I've heard of uh, people getting seven, eight, 10 offers on their houses going overpriced. Uh, so it has, been, it has been really crazy. I know the California market is seeing this very similar thing. Um, and anytime that happens here, it's going to come here. Anytime it happens there, it's going to come here. So just be aware as a seller, this is a fantastic time to list your house. And so if you guys have any questions, any concerns, uh, wanna know more, give me a call. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Uh, you can reach me on my cell, my Facebook page, my YouTube page, all over the place. You can find us. Um, and if you're watching this uh, in anywhere you're at, please like our pages, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all those other ones. You'll get uh, continual good information. Uh, so hope all is well. Hope you are happy and healthy.